Now, where should I tithe to? Where should you tithe to? Do I have to tithe to a church? Well, if you can find a church that is doing the work of evangelism, you probably should tithe to it. You know, Jesus said, go ye therefore into all the world. Okay, we're talking about evangelism. We're talking about reaching other people. We're talking about bringing people to a point of connectivity with the real creator God is what we're talking about when we're talking about evangelism. You know, Jesus did not say, spend $10 million to build a family life center with, uh, to build a church so with ping pong tables and bowling alley and a gymnasium. You know, and of course, rent the gym out on the weekends uh, to the community so you can fly model airplanes and have basketball tournaments and entertain the community. He, he didn't say that. You know, do you realize the condemnation Jesus is going to give to those who blew all their tithe money on fancy buildings and neglected the Great Commission? You know, I realize that a lot of churches, it's nothing more than an ego trip, the big fancy buildings. You know, it's like my church is bigger than yours. My dog is bigger than yours, whatever. You know, but uh, it's, it's an ego trip. I, I hear people all the time, I go to that big old church and it's, it's the biggest one. It's whatever, whatever the biggest one is. That's where I go to. Yeah, whatever. Okay. A lot of it's just an ego trip. My church is bigger than yours. But to dodge the Great Commission, I think that's what a lot of churches today are doing by spending the kind of money that they spend on their buildings. They're dodging the Great Commission. The Great Commission is not a suggestion. Oh, if you feel like it, go ye therefore and teach all nations and baptize them. You know, no, it, it, it's a command. Go ye therefore into all the world. Evangelize the world is what Christ wants us to do. And, and by the way, if you believe a lot of you believe that you're either saved or lost. And if you're saved, you immediately go to heaven. If you're lost, you're going to burn for all eternity in hell. Now, if you believe that, if that's what your theology is, if that, if that is what your church teaches, that lost people out in the world, whether they're in America or in third world countries, I don't care where they're at, that lost people, because they didn't say, I love you, Jesus, you know, that they're going to burn for all eternity in hell. If that is your conviction, then why do you even have a church building? Why are you living in an air-conditioned home? Why are you driving that Escalade? Why do you have three vehicles with payments up to $2,000 a month on your car payment? Why don't you sell off everything, get rid of the $10 million fancy church building, and go out and try to save souls? If that is your conviction that people who are lost are going to burn for all eternity in hell, what are you doing kicked back in that fancy church building, sitting on your butt doing nothing? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any Dodging the Great Commission. You're going to be in big trouble for dodging the Great Commission.